In this lesson, we're going to look at uh, improper integrals. And these are going to, uh, basically these integrals are where the functions have discontinuities along the bounds going from A to B. So the discontinuity, the discontinuity may be occurring at A at the lower bound or may be occurring at B at the upper bound or somewhere in between. Okay. But before I go on, um, I want to just go over or remind you of what the proper integral is. So let's say you have an integral from A to B. Okay. So integrating this, okay, you basically you find the right, you find the antiderivative, and let's call that capital F, and and you evaluate this uh, from A to B. Okay, so that's going to give us f of b minus f of a. Okay, so in terms of the of the geometry, okay, so let's this be x axis, this is the y axis. So you have your let's assume that your function is like this, some generic function. And let's say A is over here, B is somewhere here. So this result, okay, F of B minus F of A is just the, uh, remember that's just the area of this region. So it's the area between the, the graph of F and the X axis uh, between A and B. So in this case, the function that you're integrating is uh, continuous uh, between A and B. Okay, and it's continuous at A and also continuous at B. So for the improper case, uh, for the improper integrals, this may not be the case. Right? Okay, let's see. So. Okay, so let's suppose this time, okay, let's say that we have an integral going from A to B. Okay, and let's suppose, okay, suppose that suppose that F is not defined at B. We can say that F is not continuous at B. So let's say that we have a vertical asymptote here. Okay. So how do we handle something like this? Okay. So let's look at it graphically. Okay. So this will be my x axis. This will be my y axis. And okay. Let's uh, let me draw on a function. Let's well. Let's first put in the vertical asymptote. So let this be x equals to b. Okay, and let's suppose my function does something like this. Okay. So I have a vertical asymptote here. So obviously this function is going to get closer and closer to that, to the value of uh, whatever this, uh, whatever b is. And let's suppose that a, for the time being, let's assume a is somewhere here. Okay, so that's our lower bound. Okay, so, okay, so we have a function f of x, and we're integrating from a to b, uh, but in this case b is the vertical asymptote. Okay, so, all right, let's, so let's, um, let me call a new point, let's, uh, let me define a new value, C. Let's, I'll make it in green. So let's say I have a value here, let's say C is here. Okay, and I'm going to let C approach B. 
Okay, so my area, okay, so as I as I increase or as C is approaching B from the from the left, we want to know, okay, we want to know whether this area is going to converge or diverge. Okay. Okay, so the way we can okay, so we can get that result by um by setting this integral up as a limit. Okay, so we can take the limit as C approaches B from the left, okay, because it's coming this direction, okay, of the integral from A to C of f of x dx, okay. So this is, right, this is how we're going to set up our improper integral. Okay, so we're going to do some we're going to do some examples of this. Okay, so we evaluate the integral. Okay, and then take the limit as c approaches b to the left. So in this case, it will either it will either diverge or converge, and again, that will depend on the function. Okay. So we can also go the other way. Let's suppose this time that um, that a is a vertical asymptote. Sorry about that. I don't know why that comes up. Okay. All right. So, so this time, let's say we're going from A to B of f of x. Okay. And this time, we're going to suppose that f. is not defined at x equals to a. So again, let's assume that we have a vertical asymptote. Okay. All right, so let's redraw this. Okay. So this is x, this is y. Okay, this time I'm gonna make my vertical asymptote here. Let's say at x equals to a. And okay, and then b will be somewhere here, okay, on the upper bound. So I'm gonna draw in my function. So this time my function is gonna do something like this. So again, as x um, as x gets closer and closer to a, this uh, function is going to get to the y values, which get closer and closer to this vertical axis. Okay, so let's draw in b. Okay, and again, I'm going to say I'm going to let c be some value here, but c in this case, right? C is going to approach this. Okay, so we're letting C approach A from the right this time. So the question is now, okay, same question that we had, right? Is this area, is the area of this region converging or diverging as as C is approaching A? And again, um, that's we're going to we can answer that by looking at the by, t by setting up the limit. So we're going to have the limit, but this time we're going to let C approach A from the right. Okay, of the integral. Going from A, I'm sorry, from, from C uh, to B of f of x dx. Okay. So this is how we're going to set up our the improper integral if your lower bound is a vertical asymptote. 
Okay. Okay. So if we if if it's a case where we have the uh, let's say the function value is not defined, let's say it's the the value of that function is not defined at somewhere between a and b, then what we have to do is we have to split up our integral. Okay. So let's let me show you that case. So let's see, you have integral from a to b of f of x dx. And this time, suppose that um, c, okay, so c is, okay, c is going to be in the interval such that f of c is not defined. Okay. So again, before we had we had the vertical asymptote, we had the point here. The function was not defined at b. That was involved the upper bound. Um, down here, you had the lower bound where the function was not defined. In this case, we're assuming that now there's a point between a and b uh, where the function is not defined. Okay. So go to the graph. Okay. So, so you may have something. So it's going to look something like this. <clears throat> so you're going to have the middle, so you have here C, let's say this is C. So your graph is going to do something like this. Okay. So it'll approach C uh, from the left side, and then and then it'll also approach from the right side. Okay, so then what we're going to do, okay, so for our integral, uh, basically we just split it up. So we're going to have the integral going from A to C of f of x dx plus the integral from C to B of f of x dx. Okay. All right. So the first part, okay. So the this for the first part of this to solve this part, that's going to be uh, similar to what we saw in the first uh, in the first diagram. Okay. So I'm just going to number this. So that's going to be one. This will be two. Okay. So this is going to be solved using one. Okay, and this part over here, okay, so that's going to be going from C to B, okay, so let's assume, so I forgot to put in my bounds here, so let's assume that A is here and B is here, okay. So for the second part, you're going between C and B, so in this case C is, um, the functions is not defined on the on this lower bound okay so that's the scenario that we had in part two okay so that's how we're going to solve this okay so we're going to use the second uh, the second approach for that okay so these are the three different cases all right, that you could have for these improper for these type of improper integrals. Okay. So again, you have the first one is if the vertical, if you have a uh, vertical asymptote or, or the function is not defined on the on the right bound. Okay. The second one is if the function is not defined on the left bound, and the third one is if you have if the function is not defined uh, between uh, some for some point between a and b. Okay.